Hi there, this is Love Johar. Thank you so much for tuning into this video and thank you so much for watching this channel. If you have not subscribed, I would highly request you to subscribe to this channel right now because we are going to see a lot of videos now on the digital protection, uh, the Digital Personal Data Protection Act 2023 going forward on this channel. So since this is a very new act and uh, this is something which is very important, uh, so i would highly request you to subscribe to this channel so that you are the first one who gets notified about the new videos on the digital personal data protection act so in this video we will try to understand what are the key differences between the uh, digital personal data protection act 2023 and general data protection regulation gdpr so let's talk about the scope first so scope as we all know applies to the processing of personal data of individuals located in india regardless of where the processing takes place so it means that if we are talking about the personal data of individuals located in india so the processing can be within the indian territory or outside as well so the scope applies there as well regardless of where, where the processing takes place the scope is applicable outside of india as well it clearly states that and now coming to the scope under general data protection regulation it says that applies to the processing of personal data of indi individuals located in the european economic area eea regardless of where the processing takes place so here you can see the difference now coming to the consent so here consent is required for the processing of sensitive personal data and for certain other types of processing such as the transfer of personal data to third countries okay so it, it talks about that here consent is required for the processing of personal data unless there is another lawful basis of for processing okay so here uh, the data subject rights uh, you know, individuals have the rights to access correct arrays and restrict the uh, processing of their personal data. They also have the right to object to the processing of their personal data and to receive their personal data in a portable format. So similar rights are there under GDPR with some additional rights such as the right to be forgotten and the right to data portability. And the Data Protection Board is responsible for overseeing and enforcing the DPDP Act, which is the Digital Personal Data Protection Act 2023. And in the other case, we have the European Data Protection Board and the National Data Protection Authorities in the EEA, uh, which is the European Econ Economic Area, uh, which are responsible for overseeing and for enforcing the GDPR. So here, the penalties are much higher than the uh, you know General Data Protection Regulation, and organizations uh, who are not complying with the uh, with the Digital Personal Data Protection Act could be. Uh, fined up to INR 250 crores for serious violations of the Digital Personal Data Protection Act 2023. And in this case, uh, the fines are uh, Euro 20 billion or 4% of the global annual turnover, whichever is higher for serious violations in the uh, GDPR. So here uh, we have seen some quick uh, differences between both the uh, you know Digital Personal Data Protection Act and GDPR. If you have any uh, follow-up questions, if you have any comments, feel free to ask in the uh, comment section. But if